right, just a very quick update today. As you can see, I'm not uh, I'm still covered in crap. Um, <clears throat> I'm still sanding this off, trying to get all this crap off of this trailer and mudguards. Um, using discs now and lappers and all sorts just to get all of the stuff, the rust, the old paint and so on off of it. It would seem that some of the paint that's on it is very soft and resistant to the paint stripper so uh, I've had to just grind that all off. So also uh, a slight other problem I've had is uploading. My upload speed here where I live is ridiculously slow. It's uh, 0.3 of a meg or something so a 20 minute video like I've been doing they take five hours to upload and that is getting silly I just haven't got the time so I'm gonna make them a little bit shorter uh, just updates really you don't want to watch hours of grinding it's just boring it's boring for me and I'm doing it so I can't imagine how boring it is to watch it so today I'm just grinding off all the bits and pieces getting back to the bare steel and prepping this thing to start putting some uh, preservative coatings on it and then I can start with some design and start making this thing this this thing into something so all it is today just a bit more grinding um, a bit more cleaning and a bit more getting dirty Stick around. Just a quick point, in case you're doing any of this, if you're making sheet metal, then using a decent lapping wheel, like so, will put grooves in the metal because it's hard. So to lap the paint off, but not to disturb the sheet metal, go for a disc on its own. Just bolt the disc in by itself, and it moves. It doesn't last forever, because you can see it starts to break up, but that's where it's attaching these edges and it takes the disc apart and there's little dents there that I can't get in. Just a little tippet if you're interested. Uh, if you're lapping sheet metal and you don't want to put deep grooves in it, just use a soft disc or a floppy disc that normally goes on one of these things. And when you use just a disc by itself, you get that nice curve or floppiness on the disc and that just gives nicely, so it takes the paint off, but it doesn't put grooves in the metal, so when it comes to paint it, you haven't got to put a skin filler on it, uh, or a skin coat or filler, should I say. Right, pretty much. Right, so there we go, all cleaned up and tidied up for today. Just a quick, very quick one. Uh, lap these off, not much point in showing you every bit of that, it's not very interesting. Um, got some little dings to ping out, just get a dolly and bang them out from the other side. It's a rat bike, they don't matter too much. Uh, once I put a scrim over that, it's not gonna show anyway. Kind of like this effect. Um, wheels, clean them all up. Got the worst of the dirt off. Got all the old crappy silver paint off. Uh, bearings are a bit dry, I think, which is all. So I'm going to strip them out and muscle a bit of grease in by hand. These grease nipples are okay, but they just kind of squirt the grease in one place. They don't really get it in the rollers, so they're going to get clean and washed. A couple of new cups. Uh, dum de dum. Um, the rest of this, the metal's all good, and as I said before, it's now going to sit for another 24 hours and then jet wash all in these corners and get all that old paint stripper out because once you put paint on it, paint is wet, so effectively that re enlivens it and it never sets. All been there before, haven't we? Uh, all the worlds are good, it's very sound, it's a jolly good piece of metal work, and finding out as we go along, this is actually. A snipe trailer and may or may not know don't know if you know but snipe trailers are quality so that trailer for 40 pounds that is a serious find it's a snipe trailer it's a manufactured item it's not homemade no monkey boy in his garage like me made this it was professionally built 
and it's a heavyweight piece of kit a very smart trailer probably quite a lot of money in these days better than these cheap early things you buy now so I've got myself a little bargain there uh, it's going to get dry down now and then effectively a couple of days from now we'll start on the rebuilding okay there we go thanks for tuning in with the Garage take it easy ride safe and I'll see you all next time